Hey everyone, if you like the channel, please consider subscribing. It means a ton. Thanks so much. Enjoy the video. We've flamed these combs and now we're going to split them into groups of four and put them into the oven. What you got to understand about bamboo rod building is there's lots of different ways of doing things. I do things a little different perhaps than a lot of other rod builders do. I've tried to streamline what I'm doing. Uh, traditionally, they would split them all into little pieces. They would triangulate them. They would bind them together. This is what I used to do. Then heat treat them in the oven. So I've sort of streamlined those steps a little bit. What I, what I do is I take these uh, pieces and I split them into groups of four. And then I heat treat them. After that, they come out of the oven. Then I split them into the single pieces. Then I scrape them to look for, for defects. And then I triangulate them. So it's a little bit of a different process, but it comes out the same in the end. You've got to decide which way you want to go when you read the books on how to do it. But this is the way I do it and the way it works for me. So the Boxstrom method of splitting is what we call even splitting. So we're going to take some tape so that we can mark the comb. Run it around the circumference. We got a caliper here. And we're going to set this caliper at the width we want to split it. Now you say, how do I know the width we want to split it? Well, it's all based upon your formula again. You're building a six-sided rod, it's going to be half of your dimension. If you're building a five-sided rod, it's going to be half of your dimension plus 20%. So this is a five-sided rod. So the half dimension, or the strip, I should say, the, the strip dimension, at the biggest point is 216 thousandths of an inch. So I take that and I would times it times 1.3 and add 20% and then add 50 thousandths of an inch for a little bit of leeway. And if I come up with a number and I think I've got to round it off, I always round up because I don't want to go to all of this trouble and come out with a strip that's too thin that I got to throw away. A lot of people, they're very careful with their bamboo. They, they, uh, they want to economize and everything, but I think it's a false economy. Uh, you've got to get a good strip to make a good rod. So, so I've determined that this strip, rough split, should be 450 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to set my dial here at 450. And there's what it's set at. This little guy in here is my measuring thing. And I'm going to take that and start measuring from the split check. Now the split check often gets burned when you're fl flaming it. So you should start just a little bit in. So you just sort of fudge a little bit on the first one. Give it, a, give it a, another eighth of an inch and plus and then mark it. Now you're going to your 450 all the way around. So those are going to be your rough pieces after you get them split up. So I'm going to count the one, two, three, four. I like to split things in groups of four because groups of fours split into groups of two and groups of two split into groups of one. And bamboo likes to split evenly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well, we'll get five there. That's okay. So my initial split is going to be here or there, just to sort of, that's going to sort of split into thirds. It looks like I'm going to get three groups of four. So I'm going to tighten my, uh, my knife in the vise. I'm going to line it up 
so that I can use that split there already and I've got to line it up. I'm going to line it up with that one, I think. So I'll cut this third off first. It likes to split evenly, like I said. It would be better if I could split it in half, but I can't in this case. But the bigger the area that you're going to split, the more chance you have to be all right. So I'm going to start it. And I'm going to split it. So it came out pretty good. There's the third, and it's actually got one extra strip in it, but I'm going to leave that in it. Now I can take my big guy and split them in half, right in half. It's got four on each side. Okay, so, all right, see those come out pretty equal when you, when you split them in half. And so then when I split them again after the oven, I split them down in half again and then half again. So there, you know, I'll get four, eight, I'll get 13 strips out of this. This is a five-sided rod, so I could get two butts of, that would be 10 strips plus three spares if everything worked correctly. But when I'm scraping, I might throw away half of this. Sometimes I'm lucky to get five. Sometimes I gotta throw the whole thing out. Sometimes I'll get every piece perfect, but you don't know until you scrape them, which is uh, the next step, splitting them into smaller and, and scraping them. Now I'm gonna go into the oven, but before I put them into the oven, I'm just gonna knock the back ends of the combs out. So I got this little stop here. Got my rubber hammer again. I got my uh, little, um, what do they call these? Eh? Um, chisel that's got about the same circumference so I can just knock the backs out now when I split them again there's still going to be some of this in here but uh, we're going to uh, get that off in a different with a different machine Okay, so now we're going to go into the oven. 